My business is Hill and Staff Solutions. I also have another section of my business which is called Tradies HR. So I'm a virtual HR manager. I provide HR services to small businesses. Um, I do a lot of work with Tradies, so that's why I've created the Tradies HR. But uh, predominantly it's just small businesses that don't have their own HR resource within their business. So I'm basically part of the leadership team of the business to be able to provide that HR advice to the business owner, the CEO, or whoever's looking after that part of the business. Also things like employment contracts, HR policies, but yeah, mostly that ongoing HR advice and support. One of the things I found before I started working with the Productive Insights program was I was really a bit all over the place. I really need structure to keep focused and get things done. So being part of this great group has really helped me, especially the sprints, which I find really useful. Yeah, so the productive sprints that we have twice a week, I just find are really great for me. I really struggle with getting things done, procrastination, leaving things to the last minute. But knowing that I've got those two productive sprints booked into my calendar every Tuesday and Thursday for an hour and a half each time, is fantastic because I know that I can think about what tasks I want to get done and get them done in that period of time. We rate our focus and it's just fantastic. I have got so much done that I would have still been thinking about if it wasn't for the structure of the, the sprints. Yep, so the sprints are three, basically 25 minute sprints because we have a bit of a, a, a debrief at the end of each half hour. So we start off at the beginning of the first one and we talk about what we want to achieve in that 25 each minutes. And then at the end of that period, we talk about how we went, what, our, uh, what we give ourselves out of 10 in relation to what our focus was like and what we achieved and then also what we're going to plan to work on for the next one. So there's three of those and you can work on the same thing for those three sprints or you can work on something different. Sometimes quite often I end up working on something different to what I planned but again it really just gives me the focus to concentrate on whatever I'm doing at the time. No, so they're all people from different businesses. So everybody has their own task or goal that they're working towards. So it's, it's not a common goal. It really is very much individual. And it could be anything from getting some client work done that's urgent um, that you need to focus on to working on your website. One person um, quite often works on blogs. So it really just depends on what's important to you, I suppose, on that day in relation to what you need to get done. You decide what you want to do and put your focus into it. Yeah, so I suppose before the sprints, I was getting better at focus. It is something that I work hard on. So I was getting better, but this is just added to the progress. I'm much further down the track of what I want to achieve because I have got these disciplined two lots of hour and a half sprints. Of course, I get work done in the other times through the week. I don't just work three hours a week, but I find that I have achieved a lot more and it gives me time to really um, focus on whatever that task might be. So for instance, you know, coming up with different programs or offerings and how I'm gonna present those.
Yeah, so being a virtual HR manager, I provide advice to businesses and I found myself giving a lot of free advice and I like to help people. So I sort of struggle a little bit with how do I charge if it's only a five or 10 minute conversation or uh, to me, a lot of the time it's about building a relationship and hopefully people will buy off me somewhere down the track. In the current climate of the coronavirus pandemic, I was just being smashed with questions. People need answers, they didn't know what to do. So I came up with a, a 15 minute, $29 phone consultation. So I was able to actually monetize a lot of the advice that I was giving for free. And honestly, I was worried about it, but people have received it really well and they're more than happy to, to pay that. And they're very grateful for the advice and the peace of mind. Yeah, look, there's lots of benefits. I find that it's a really supportive community. So people come up with different ideas and sometimes those ideas come out um, when we're having our debrief on the sprints. So we can offer different ideas. Um, Ash is a really great support as well. He's always offering his time and he's really generous with his time and his advice and his expertise. And yeah, it's just really good to bounce ideas of, off each other. We've got lots of different people from all over the world. So you, it's really good to be able to talk to people with different perspectives and potentially a different way of looking at things. And so they might be able to give you an idea that you haven't thought of. Oh, look, I think they're all experts in their field, really giving of their time, friendly and helpful. And honestly, I think that's just the sort of people that Ash really sort of um, attracts. So um, yeah, it's great. Yeah, so I was using a different CRM and after talking to Ash and, and you know talking through some, some challenges that I was having with the current system and the cost, um, I've now implemented Active Campaign. So I use that as my CRM, I send out my emails through that program. And I find that's really good because it integrates with so many other systems. I've also implemented Calendly and I'm using that to actually schedule my HR advice appointments and that can actually connect to Stripe. So I don't even have to worry about invoicing people, they're paying before they even get the advice. So it just makes it so much easier. Uh, yes, I definitely uh, recommend joining, um, otherwise I wouldn't still be there. To be totally honest, yes, I would recommend it. I've got a lot out of it. And the biggest thing for me is, is focus and support. I think, you know, it's really good to get that support and guidance from potentially a few different areas, depending on what you need. And I find it's really great. Yeah, I definitely recommend it. It's a, an affordable program that um, that definitely keeps me focused.